the bad development on the back of it was this deleted podcast that they did where Tim and Ray Kump decided to weirdly go in on Ben and it wasn't too surprising if you're a fan of Tim Diller you'd know Tim's only got like one default response to conflict where he kind of doubles down and gets even more cunty than he usually is so it's not surprising that that happened and also maybe you know Ben basically decided to walk away because he just wasn't creatively um empowered or whatever maybe or just walk away on his own dime it probably fucked with tim's head because i guess he would have envisaged envisioned a future where he was the one firing ben or firing somebody not that somebody left of their own volition that kind of probably stung him a bit deep also so that might explain why he was being such a cunt to ben in the podcast but i'll play a bit of the clip so you can kind of hear it but it was really sad to hear them kind of rag on ben like this on here especially ray Kumber sound like he was super happy that ben left and stuff and was really putting the boot in maybe because he wants to replace ben i'm not too sure but either way this is the episode i'll delete from patreon Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tim Dillon Patreon episode. It is a historic one. It's a big one. I'm here with Ray Kump. Hello. Friend of mine. Another friend of the show whose name's Ryan. We're not going to say anything more about that. But no, but he's been, he, been a fan for a while. He's a fan for a while, and he's, he's, he's somewhat famous, you know? Yeah, is he? Somewhat. Okay. Right. I, I think. No, I've heard of him, yeah. He's not Zendaya. No. But who is? I'd like to be. Now, and you will be. <laughs> What, what, what about an agent who told you that? You know, like the agent, they just lie. If people knew yes. behind the scenes that you were like a rough guy, it would right. totally ruin the experience. Right. You know, like, you, right. you're like a Matt Lauer type. What, what do you mean by that? No, a beach for Stark. Really, Nick, is that true? That's, he's on vacation. It's not, it's not nothing. Really, you think this is all a bit. This is all that like one big elaborate bit that they did to kind of get the fans all riled up. That would be crazy if true. That'd be a really good bit. He was on vacation. He just he just needed. He went on sabbatical or whatever, and he's gonna come back. He needed a bit of a break and refresh. That'd be awesome if that was true. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I guess Lyra complicates it because he's a yeah. He's don't call criminal. me a mad liar. <laughs> they already think Ben was raped. <laughs> Everyone listening to this already thinks there's an article coming out in the LA Times <laughs> with a crying Ben Avery. <laughs> I mean, everyone already, there's no one not thinking he was there. There's nobody right. listening to the show right now that does not believe he was molested. Yeah, that's a good point, Coyla. Working under another man 24-7 and having that paycheck cover your whole life is bound to crash at some point. True. It's not it's different from like working from a company um, or like a small startup and stuff, which is even difficult. I've, I've had my issues where I've worked in companies where they've got under 10 employees and it's really odd, especially if the founders are all like, old kind of college friends and stuff it can be a little bit weird to kind of ingratiate yourself in them in the crew and to kind of you know feel comfortable it just it, it just doesn't work sometimes um so i can imagine that could be difficult when it's just like two people working on the show um all the time you're contact you're in contact all the time you see each other too often i can get it why that could be an issue right no way but literally this is a very amicable thing sure and i i'll always love ben like family and you know me and my family no one's more involved than me <laughs> with my family are you when's the time you saw someone in your family i i spoke to my father the other day oh, okay. he keeps telling me he's off and he wants to he goes i'll take a drive out to the house i'm off i'm like i'm not there oh. so but we wish him the best look good luck i mean look here's the thing much like in my opinion much like jimmy fallon there'll always be a place in the business for ben avery he'll land on his feet that, I think he will. <laughs> and I am going to do my thing. It's still going to be a solo show. We're, we're bringing in new producers. I hired a new guy yeah. who's really good. The show needed a little bit of reinvention right. because it was getting stale. And Ben, I think, quit two years ago. But he kept coming in. And that I respect. Look, I mean, I kept hearing about like new ideas that were coming, new like you know new projects. And I was very excited. And uh, one day, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll see him, you know, whatever. But no. Well, you know what it is? It taught me a lesson. Oh, Ray being cunty. Ray Kumpf being cunty there. Unnecessary to say that. About, you know. And again, let's, let's, keep him, let's keep him check. This guy's talking about failed projects. This is the guy talking about failed projects. No comments needed. This is the guy talking about failed projects. You know, I'm a little rough around the edges guy, and there's some people that are in your organization need more. I don't know. I just pay people, and I go, here, I'm giving you money. Right. I, I'm not going to hug you and tell you you're the best, but some people do probably want more of that. 
Yeah, look, they, they want the... I guess that's... Because I have blow-ups sometimes, but for me, you get over a blow-up in a day. Right. And it's not a big deal. But for other people, it's a, more of a thing. No, people would rather be, like, treated with respect than, like, be paid, like, 44 grand a year. Well, I'm not... I paid them a lot more than no, that. No, my point... That's my point. Right. It's like, they, like, people are weird. People don't... These kids just don't go back to work anymore. They don't get it. It's like, it's like yeah, I'd rather be, like, treated like a professional who's respected and, like, get food stamps. Right. It's like, a, it's a weird value well, system Well, I just now. want someone to be nice to me. Yeah, oh, just tell... People are telling me... I don't know if this is true. Drinking, um, drinking with cats. People are saying this is a bit. Are you guys for sure? This is a bit, so he didn't leave. Have I been duped? Nah, come on. Really? This is going to be hilarious if he comes back from fucking holiday. He went to fucking Africa. He went to Southeast Asia or something and traveled, backpacked with his wife or something and hang out, and then he's back with a nice tan with some cool stories. Yeah, I think he, yeah. But I'm sorry, Shane Jr. said, no, I think he actually left. Um, if Ben didn't write that good message, I'd think it's a bit. Okay, cool. Yeah, he definitely, that's definitely not a bit. That message was super sincere. I don't know, man. Like, this feels weird. Just don't be my dad. Someone can be nice to me for a very low price point. I've taken shit from people for no money. Right. I've literally, people have shit down my throat for nothing, you know? Yeah. So, and I was, and, and again, this wasn't like a thing where I was any, like, abusive or whatever, but I do think on the show, the bit, the dynamic of right. me always being shut up and me, uh, I mean, did you observe any of that semi-famous Ryan? Yes, but I thought it was part of the interplay, part of the banter. Yes. I right. shot him in the leg once. Now, that <laughs> wasn't part. No, it was, I think it was part of the banter, but no matter how much somebody wants to say it's part of the banter, Louis, told, when I told Louis, Louis was like, oh yeah, Louis goes, it's always so funny right. when you tell him to shut up, but Louis goes, oh yeah, I, I knew that guy was going to quit because he probably goes home, and his wife's like, why do you let him speak to you like that? But it's every dynamic in radio. The producer always sucks. Yeah. Go back to Stern. Go back to anywhere. You're always shitting on the producer. This is not new. I didn't reinvent the wheel. This is just kind of the fun dynamic. I get, we spend all our time together. I get mad at him. He'll get mad at me. It's just the dynamic of two people that spend a lot of time together. One's kind of this cranky curmudgeon. One's a young, sweet boy. And I'm like kind of being like, shut up. What do you know about life? But apparently he's, uh, you know. I mean, look, if you told me, we, we, had, we had a bunch of producers, you know, back in the early days of the show. That is correct. If you told me. Fat Dana. Fat Dana. Uh, Shannon was a sweet big, girl. Big tit Shannon. Yeah. If you told me any of them were gonna end up making what Ben made, right? It would be and like, yeah, look, he was he was good, right? To, you know, to a point, right? But you know, he, Jesus Christ, Ray, hate her energy. He well, was really good. You know, he was really really good. He, you know, and and what's sad is that money. You know, it's not sad, but it's like if it's not about money, I'm very. I don't know what to do if I can't give you a lot of money. Right. I don't know what to do. I can't make you feel better. I can't make you a comic. He wasn't a comic, and you know, you're sitting next to a comic, so you might this look at that. This is literally a Cinderella story. I, I, I'm unaware of how, but I'm sure you've I'm, worked no, he, it out. He's in Cinderella. Your head. You like you're the magic genie or whatever was in that in that movie. There was, there was no genie in Cinderella no. at all. Whatever. Was no one... That's a good point. How much do you think he was making? Um. Ben Avery as a producer. I don't know. Would we say more than five grand a month? We'd say ten grand a month. Twenty grand a month. Cause I don't know yearly salary. Let's say monthly. What was he getting monthly? Because I'm assuming he was getting paid monthly, not per show. So was it twenty grand, you think? Twenty thousand per month? Fifty grand per month? Or would it be? Because I know Tim makes a lot on Patreon. It's like 200 and 200 something thousand a month, but he also pulls in a decent amount of YouTube and all that stuff too. People are saying 3K. Yeah, true. Uh, Patreon do take a pretty massive cut. I'm not sure how much it is over a certain amount. Um, he was an intern. <laughs> he was a... Near the Middle East. Was there a wolf? Fairy godmother. godmother. You're, you're the fairy godmother. Okay. May his wishes come true. But perhaps I mean that, that that that's how good of a break he got. He got a, he got a good break, and he was you know he was. But you know here's the thing: the, there was a lot of travel. Sure, I think that kind of wore on him. He had to go to Australia. That's terrible. London, awful, horrible place. <laughs> Ray Compass being a real piece of shit. Places. <laughs> And you know, where did you guys stay? In like East, uh, in like he Liverpool. He stayed in a cheaper place than me, but it was no, still sure. like a nice. But I think it wears on the marriage. I get it. 
I get it. And he's not a comic, so he's not getting what I get out of it, right? So he's not right. walking on a stage and entertaining people for an hour. So here's the deal. I, I think everybody's got to live the life they want to live. And somebody might want to go, I don't want to giggle. Right. Like, that's not what I want to be known for. I don't want to be a giggle. Is London horrible? Probably for an American it is. It's not the finest place in the world. It's functional. It does what it says in the tin. It's like a dreary, drab version of New York, but I wouldn't say it's fun. It's okay. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be a guy who just sits next to a guy. But will he become a Patreon member? I, I, I'm sure that he probably has a subscription or... I mean, he's going to have to. If he's not paying now, you should reset the Patreon so like, the password doesn't work anymore. Well, should I give... I, should, we I come up with a tier? should we come up with a tier X producer? <laughs> Where he has to pay like five thousand a month, <laughs> ex producer tier. And it's just one additional abuse of episode. Yeah. yeah, it's just one episode from me to him, telling him to go fuck himself. I'm like, I know you're listening to this, you piece of shit. This is the one above the Rothschild. Sit down. Tell, tell your wife it's time for the, the monthly fuck you. You force him to take his part of a severance back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my business manager's like, hello Ben. As part of the severance, you'll be given several weeks of your salary. Also, Tim has stipulated that for one episode on the Patreon every month, he will insult both you and your wife, and you will have to listen to it. You will have to record yourself listening to it. Like, I should make a stipulation where it literally has to sit there and have a camera on him for an hour while I just scream at him. <laughs> okay, you, you got the gist of it. And then I guess Tim felt bad about it and decided to apologize, which I thought was pretty decent of him. And he sounded really sincere based off what he said here. Hey, so I wanted to let everybody know why we took down the Patreon episode that we had just put out. Um, when I came on the Patreon, I felt the best way to do it with you guys was to be funny about it because the show, the Tim Dillon show, has always been like a funny show. We've never really been serious on the show. That's not what we do. We say crazy shit all the time about everybody. And that's what we do. That's kind of the, that's why you guys like the show. It's why we have hundreds of thousands of people listening to the show. Um, but, you know, when we listen to the episode back, um, it felt callous and cold. And I love Ben and I didn't want Ben to be hurt by the episode, which I think he was probably hurt by it. Um, it was not my intention. All I wanted was to break the news in kind of a funny way. Um, that's how I handle everything that matters in my life. I've never been good at being serious. I'm rarely serious. Uh, you know, you guys know me well enough to know that like everything in my life, from my schizophrenic mother to, to my family issues, it's all public and I deal with it 100% with comedy, which is not good. This is not how you should deal with things that matter in your life all the time. This is not, um, it's not a recommendation. This is not, I'm not telling people this is the right way. Um, and comedy is not accuracy. Comedy is not being real. It's not, comedy is being funny. Talking shit and being funny. And when we listen back to the episode, I realized, you know, Ray was being Ray, which if you know anything about the show, you know what Ray does. He's a curmudgeon. And, you know, I was going back and forth with him, but none of that, um, you know, it was necessarily the right tone for the episode. I think it came off like I was callous or that I undervalued Ben. Um, in And 100%, Ben, the dynamic between me and Ben is why the show was great. Um, the videos we made impacted culture. Um, they were, Many of them went viral. They uh, were covered by major news platforms. Ben is this insanely talented guy. But I do feel, and I know that he feels, that he wants to do more than produce a podcast. And that's a fact. So you get the gist. I'm not too sure if it is a bit or not. Some people are making me doubt this whole thing. So hopefully it's, it's, it's actually is legit. Because if it isn't, they definitely got me hook, line, and sinker. They definitely got me hook, line, and sinker. 